checking out one of my clients' house. That's a pretty good palm down. There's his brother, you can see. That's what it originally looked like. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, it was a beautiful tree. I always like them when they had the ferns growing in them like this. Maybe starting to grow a, uh, probably. I had to make a guess that was a, uh, oh, darn it. Um, our black, white, and red mangroves. <laughs> Big palm frond in there, a couple of them. Well, it doesn't look too much worse for the wear. Definitely could have been a lot worse. Well, that's good. It's good. Let's go on to the next one. That's a big branch. So I wanted to come down here so I could show the difference between a ficus and a banyan. This one closest to me I'm pretty sure is a banyan. When we get around to the other side I'll be able to show you how much bigger its leaves are than the other one that we're going to go past. I mean you can see right here how the leaves are broader and fatter than the leaves of that branch right there which are all curled. But this is definitely a banyan tree here. And I'm almost positive that was a ficus. We'll get over there and get a better look at it. But I wanted to show y'all that the banyan trees never seem to come out of the ground. The ficus seem to come out of the ground. The banyan trees generally have thicker trunks and less webbing going down. That's from what I can tell. They always have bigger leaves. I know that. Let's go over here and take a look. I won't be getting through over here. That was a good sized chunk. Let's go have a look at these leaves right here just to see. See how much smaller these leaves are? I'm gonna go back around. Well, I can just show you right here. Banyan tree versus ficus. Banyan tree has more of the veining in the leaf and a much broader leaf. Um, yeah, it just seems like the ficus don't handle the wind. Um, but man, you can see there's a couple of big broken limbs right there off that ficus. And when I get back over to the banyan, there's another banyan down the street. That man, it's got some serious limb breakage. I mean, you can see this one's got some serious limbs broken off of it as well. There's no doubt about it. <sighs> this guy's house, on the other side of the house, it got pummeled with, with uh, coconuts. So he lost a lot of, a lot of tile. Hey, there's a lot of tile in the pool. The pool is definitely green. Look at how much came off of this tree. Stripped her. There's a big limb for you. But they don't seem to come out of the ground. I have yet to see an actual banyan tree uprooted from the storm. There's something broken. Oh, there's a good sized snap. Snap! Knocked down. Ripped in half. 
I mean, it's just nasty. It's nasty. I uh, see. I think this is a different kind of ficus. It's got a thinner leaf. This is the big banyan I'm talking about, man. It had a couple of chunks. See how much bigger its leaves are again? I don't know if y'all can see that. But look at that. There it is. We'll come back to it. Oh, there's one more that snapped off of it. That's freaking huge. Snap, snap, snap. Everything goes snap. What is this tree? I don't know what that guy is. He did good though. I think there's one more banyan up here. Oh, there's a big Christmas palm down again. So you can see the times that they've had good water when they have it, by how thick and thin the trunks are. Right, dog, that thing's. All right, let's see how this big banyan's doing. How you doing, buddy? You got a little bit of a haircut, it looks like. Knocked up all your limbs. Look at that root right there. That's a big root. Yeah, it just looks like all the tops of them got ripped off. So that's good. Here's another one of those trees that we saw broken earlier. Oh, this is a, uh, that is an Asian orchid tree. That did not take it very well. I'm pretty sure you can cut them back almost all the way and they'll live though. Azalea, it did fine. Look at this banyan. He did pretty good, really. I mean, we know I have to grow back a lot of leaves, but he only had a couple of big branches break off of him. Nothing that he can't handle. And I'm sure banyans and ficuses are related. I just, I don't know. Enough to be able to tell you yes or no. Sideways tree action. A little bit of a sideways a tree action, yeah. Yeah, a little sideways tree. Would you like to see my sideways tree? I will show you the sideways tree. Here's the big banyan again. I was freaking out when I saw this. Look at that piece. That is the other side of that branch that came off. That is a humongous chunk. Another one of my trees from up front, all busted up, everything all over it. Beautiful. Probably built in the 90s. That was a beautiful slate roof right there. The Bismarck, he's no worse for the wear. I don't know what this is. Probably a ficus. Yeah, it's a ficus. That's a lot of ficus. Ah, 
that's a lot of laying down ficuses. That was a big, healthy Christmas ball right there. And pull them out of the roots. There's another big palm down. That one got split. Another palm. That guy's shutters blew off. Oh, he has the clamp downs. Oh, those are the awesome ones. This guy's got a cedar plank. Another tree. Not sure what these are called. They have a name though. <laughs> I'm sure y'all knew that. Another one of my trees down. Let's go see what's going down off a of gin. Pop. Pop. Snap, 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 snap. Ficus. Ficus. So many palms. Remember, nah. Everything is cool. Snap, snap, snap. That's an expensive tree. I know somebody's got one of those. Told me it was rare. So I just think it's expensive. Oh, check out that crazy-looking palm tree with the nodules. I've never seen one grow like that. That's oh, cray cray. I mean, I guess you could do it if you. Watered it on, watered it off, watered it on, watered it off. Might do that for you. There's another ficus. Yeah, so the rule is never plant a ficus because they fall over. Ficus, another ficus on the ground. Well, there's not much left to show y'all of uh, downtown Port Royal here. Just a bunch of uprooted trees. Not a whole lot of damage to any houses, I mean. But that's what you get when you spend $258 billion on a house. I think most of these houses go for between 55 and 155 million. Uh, from what I understand, this is pretty much the most expensive real estate in the whole wide world right here. Well, thanks for watching. I'll pull out the phone if I see anything else cool. I just wanted to give you all a tour. Have a great day. trees down. Let's take uh, this road. See where it goes. Snapped him off the root. Ba -ba -ba -banion. Nah, this is a ficus. Ficus.
get all the action as well. There's a kicking butt, cleaning up. That got ripped off. That used to be there. <laughs> Definitely a lot of brush down here, but not too many trees really, not too much damage. The little sea out went down. Oh, that guy's the same as my tree. My little, one of my little trees. Part of them broke off. They're not very strong trees, they're pretty. They get nice pretty flowers on them. Buddy, you seem to have a tree in here. Yeah, they definitely took a lot more damage down here than they did at my house. Probably the total number of trees is quite a bit higher. But the houses are all in good shape. 145 mile per hour winds recorded down here in Naples. There's that big ficus down again. See that palm tree's leaning pretty good. A lot of debris. Here's a pretty good one. Look at all those palms north and left. That one's Dunsky. Boom.